hello everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna get started and prime my lids with some juvia's place concealer and i'm gonna go into the morphe boss mood palette i always go into this palette when i want to do any pink or purple looks and i'm gonna go into this um this dark black it's like shimmery got shimmer sparkles in it and i'm gonna take the morphe m332 brush and pack that on my outer corner and like kind of in my crease because i'm gonna go ahead and blend it with pink later so i'm just tapping it on i'm not blending it out yet or anything and then i'm taking the morphe m535 blending brush and i'm just going to go ahead and work this black just all over i'm just going to blend it because i'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe where i don't want the black later but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and work it in. And I'm gonna go into this pink with the Morphe M321 bullet crease brush. And I'm gonna pack that right above the black. And it's okay if it looks like this because we're gonna blend it. I don't really do a lot of tapping in this video cause it wasn't gonna be like a cut crease, real defined dramatic eyeshadow look. I just wanted something bold, but like, still subtle and then i'm taking the morphe i think this is the m504 blending brush and then just softly blending out that pink and i know my eyes look kind of crazy right now with all the blending but it doesn't matter because i'm gonna go in and take a makeup wipe and remove the uh, eyeshadow that's not supposed to be where it's supposed to be like don't ever judge your eyeshadow before you get done with your whole makeup look like wait until you're done with your foundation and everything because everything has to come together so wait until you finish to judge your eyeshadow trust me so you see here i'm removing the makeup that i like the eyeshadow where i don't want it on my face eyeshadow shouldn't go past your eyebrow like the beginning of your eyebrow so that's why i'm wiping right there wiping under my eye and then I'm wiping a little bit of the black off my lid because I'm putting a gold there, like a shimmer, and I don't really want it to be dark right there on the lid. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply some of that pink back on with the brush because I wiped some of it off and that's okay. I'm just gonna reapply some. I think this is the Morphe m535 brush that i'm using and then i'm using the p louise base in the shade one this might be one or three i think this is the shade three because it has a little brown to it and i'm just gonna put that on my lid because i want that glitter to pop on a, just to like a blank canvas instead of putting it directly on my lid And then I'm rubbing the P. Louise base out. And then I'm going to go back into the palette and take this glitter with my finger just because I'm doing something like nice and like not natural, but I didn't need the glitter to be like super perfect for this look. So that's why I took my finger. But if you want to take a brush and wet it and make it really defined, you can. And then I'm going to go into this dark purple just to add some darkness back to my eyes. I'm just going to put it on the outside where the glitter is with the Morphe 332 brush. I was going to do the black, but I think the black was going to be too harsh. So that's why I went back in with the dark purple instead. And I'm just wiping away any fallout and then I'm going to lay some tape down and I'm going to use uh, some Sephora liquid liner. So I have about five weeks left until uh, my due date until I have the baby. So I think I'm going to post one or two more videos and then I'm going to take a break. I'm probably I want to if in a perfect world. I would like to film a video like around or on Thanksgiving, but me and my boyfriend, we haven't decided if we're gonna be around family for 
Thanksgiving because it depends on if I'm healed yet. I ain't leaving the house if I'm not healed. So, yeah, I don't know. But if not, then definitely my birthday because my birthday, she will be at her grandma's house. Um, And I'm going to just take some of this glitter and put it on my lid because I needed some more sparkle. And I did that with a brush. But yeah, so if you all don't, after I post another video or two, I'll be gone for about a month and or a month, month and a half. And then, um, yeah, I can hopefully start recording again. But even when I do start recording again, I won't be uploading as much as I used to for obvious reasons. But you'll still see me here and there. I'm going to go ahead and put these lashes on that I got from AliExpress. I only get my lashes from AliExpress because it's like you pay $2 for 12 pairs of lashes. And they're usually minks. Like, you cannot beat that. And then I'm going to take this Milk Makeup Milk Hydro Primer. It's really tacky. I see why people like this stuff. It, like, really fills in everything. So after I put this Milk Primer on, I learned this trick from Jackie Ina. I go in with some uh, powder and set my face. I take the Laura Mercier Powder in Medium Deep. Especially with having to wear masks nowadays, I don't want my all my makeup to transfer onto my mask. So I take this powder and I just press it into my skin uh, before I apply my foundation with a beauty blender. For my foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC45. You do not have to get MAC foundation. I just got this because I'm a pro member with MAC. And this was like better for me because it's getting cooler outside. And I'm not as dark as my Maybelline foundation that I used to use in my other videos. So I'll be using this until further notice because I don't like playing catch up and with foundation. Because I don't have time for my skin to be breaking out, especially because I'm pregnant. So... I use whatever works for me. And then I'm using Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade 13. Um, I only like this concealer by them. I don't like their sticks. Their sticks don't do it for me. But I love the Juvia's Place wands. These concealers are the bomb. I have this shade 13 and the shade 15. But I'm only going to use 13 today because I don't really need that much full coverage. And um, this prevents flashback when you do concealer that's like not super bright. And then this Morphe Banana Powder. I think this is in the shade Banana Rich. This also doesn't give me any flashback. Like I was taking pictures at night with my friends in the dark on with the flash on. And I had no flashback. Like the pictures were amazing. And then I'm just going to put some eyeliner in my waterline, tight line it, I think that's called. I should know what that term is, but I don't. And I'm just gonna black out my waterline. And then I'm taking some MAC um, Extreme Dimension Mascara and putting that on my lower lash line. Again, you don't have to use this MAC Mascara. I just got it because I'm a pro member, so that's why I'm using it. And then I'm using MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish to set my face now this mineralized skin finish i definitely recommend like to set your face with this stuff like evens everything out and i think this also contributes to the no flashback i love the mineralized skin finish like i had i had to get it when i got it when i ran out i couldn't go without it and then i'm using the abh aurora palette for my glow, you all know I'm not too crazy when it comes to the glow kits and stuff because I already look like a damn disco ball without glow. <laughs> so I only add is just as little bit as I need. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some brown lip liner and line my lips. And I've been obsessed with using Velvet Teddy from MAC, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that because my face is about to be covered with a mask anyway, and only my eyes will be showing. And I'm going to take the Morphe 
mattifying spray, set my face, and use my Chinese fan to fan it out. And this is the finished look. I hope you all like it. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.